guys and gals. I'm back with yet another unboxing video because I do these because I enjoy them and then I review the stuff and then I put the in the description the link to the review so that you you can really use this context um, before you buy the thing if if you want to buy the thing maybe don't just outright throw your money at something so today we're doing this one more spearhead VR Bluetooth in your headphones okay looks like your conventional headphones but they have a lot of features according to them let's see here um, immerse yourself in mobile gaming with one more virtual environment sound technology Bluetooth technology enables 35 feet low latency connectivity 10 minute fast charge for three hour use a, a graphene and titanium dual dynamic driver come on now that's just marketing jargon right <laughs> uh, oh produces original sounds that's the rest of that the sentence there customizable red LED lighting setup so in the picture it shows this little number one there is illuminated I I'm guessing that means maybe you could choose to turn it on or off I don't know if it saves battery and then lastly it says environmental noise cancellation nothing on the side there just the thing that says open nothing on that side just a little Bluetooth logo on the back in English it says oh the same things there actually and then it says it in other languages down here the model number that doesn't really matter too much but if you're wondering before I put up the link to the review it's the e1020 BT uh, so it says charging time is one hour so that's interesting right because on the front it said 10 minute fast charge for three hours of use so that makes me think then that the 10 minutes fast charge is only three hours but if you do a full hour then you get of charge if you do a full hour charge then you get more use out of it implying that maybe hold on let's find out here does it say anything else oh talk time six hours music play time six hours so 10 10 minutes gets you three hours of time okay but one hour gets you six hours just charge it for 10 minutes every three hours <laughs> I mean, I guess if you're going on like a longer trip, you don't have to, but it seems illogical to do a whole hour. I mean, I guess, it, well, whatever. Uh, Im impedance, 32 ohms. Wireless range is 10 meters. Bluetooth is, gosh darn it, I get fuzzy wuzzy. Sorry about that, everybody. I didn't realize my camera got unfocused. Uh, wireless range, 10 meters. Bluetooth is Bluetooth 4.2 uh, with HFP. A2DP and AVRCP uh, protocols and then the weight of its 32 grams input 5 volts 1 amp all right the specifications are required from laboratory laboratory tested data cool I don't care <laughs> fine print no me gusta so let's see if I just crack this bad boy open and keep it quick so that you're not here forever. Ooh, it's a nice feeling box. It's got the, you can see, you know, the highlight gloss on the, the thing there. Really nice. I just don't keep, you know, every box that I, you know, get. Okay. Whoa. First of all, you can hear that, like, crack open like a book. That's nuts. Second of all, they actually put concept art with measurements and, oh, what the... That's nuts. And then, of course, they put in their little uh, marketing business there, which is fine. You know, more power to them. It's just on the front and the back of the box, but it's also here, too. Cool. Huh. So if you get one of these, definitely look at it closer. It's some nifty stuff. All right. Now we're getting to brass tacks here. Can I pull this tab? Is that how that comes in? Oh, it's taped. Hold on. Wow, lots of tape here. I didn't want this bad boy moving at all. Oh, that's nice. Uh, it's like a nice uh, matte finish rubber, almost like a TPU material. Oh yeah, okay, so I don't know if you could see it. The number one is in there. I guess you just can't see. You can see my screen reflecting, but you can't see. It doesn't matter. The number one's in there, and that's, I'm guessing, what would illuminate with LEDs. Some slanted rubber inserts there. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought I was, gosh, I should do better at this. <laughs> There's a slanted earbuds and it has the noise canceling 
bits. There is a microphone built in to the side somewhere on here. I'm guessing it's on the inside. Hot dog. Okay, so now that I've found this business, I can actually show it to you. There's a power button. You've got volume up and down. There's also a, a forward and back for the tracks. There's pause and play. Interestingly enough, the power also answers a call. And I guess it's also pause and play, unless you just tell it pause and play. I'm going to play with this, obviously, and figure everything out, and then I can share with everybody. There's also a slider here? Oh, no, it's the, geez, it's the uh, micro USB charge port. So that's everything for this. Um, it's got some... Yeah. It's got some nice sp springiness to it, too. It opens really wide without fighting you, but then it just goes right back. And then, let's see what's underneath here. Hopefully a charge cable. Hold on, is there anything underneath this? Nope, nothing underneath that. So, it shows a uh, manual bag. What is that? A gallon of milk? <laughs> and a USB cord. Let's see what that is real quick. I'm trying to do this before the battery dies of my my camera. Oh, nice, yeah. Oh, there's a teddy bear! That's some really nice material. I'm just not one to keep it, but I would just keep it around my neck if I'm not using it, I suppose. There's additional sizes of the uh, insert piece for your ear. Oh, of course. A sticker. And a QR code to take you to... The oh, there's an app for it. Okay. That's interesting. I wonder if it's required to listen to music. We'll find that out, too. I would not be thrilled about that, but somehow I doubt that that's the case. And then there's a manual. Wow, that's a thick manual because there's lots of languages in there. Save the trees, guys. Oh, and there is, at final, the micro USB cord. Some really nice material, too. It's flat, so you don't have to worry about tangling too much. Can I get it open to see how long it actually is? Because it doesn't talk about it on the outside of the box, and I feel like that's something that people should know before they get into something like this. A little blade there. <sighs> what are we talking here? Uh, 16 inches, maybe? A foot long? It's not terribly long. If you have a longer cord that you would prefer to use, I might recommend that. But, again, all opinions will be held for the review. Alright, well that is it for this video, guys. I love doing this stuff. I love picking this stuff apart and showing it off. So, bear with me. The review will be up sometime soon. And have a good day, because you've earned it.